Well, crews in Sandwich are working as fast as they can to restore power after the Nor'easter knocked out electricity for thousands. As WBZ's Anna Myler shows us, only a few thousand are still in the dark and almost all of them are on the Cape. Cape Cod really got the worst of this storm with the strong wind gusts and the heavy wet snow that turned into chunks of ice overnight. You can see the way that it's weighing down these tree branches and a lot of the side roads in Sandwich look like this covered in snow and ice. Almost every inch of Cape Cod is covered in white. It's stunning, but a lot of surfaces are slick. Everything is so icy everywhere. The storm brought strong winds that pushed sea foam over the dunes. Big waves crashed into the beaches, threatening the shorelines. And the weight of the snow caused power lines to snap. Diane lost power for five hours. The storm was horrible. It started out kind of light, and I said, we're not going to get this. So, and all of a sudden, the wind was blowing, the snow was coming down so fast. And what came down was wet and weighed a ton. Oh, it's so heavy. The snow is so heavy. In situate, the storm sent massive waves crashing into the crumbling seawall, sending chunks of concrete sailing. Darlene lives at its weakest point, and she wonders how many more storms it can endure. Every storm more and more chunks of it come off and um, if it breaches right there you can see like the town is right there. Back in Sandwich people are shoveling out as they get back to work and school today. You gotta take a little break here and there. It's a little higher on the back. It's heavy. The snow was a welcome sight for kids who haven't had much to play in. We haven't had any snow on the Cape this year and in fact kind of for years so like the kids don't get to play that often so yeah it was really nice while others are counting down the days until they get away 10 days 20 minutes and 10 seconds <laughs> we'll be in sunny aruba the storm is long gone and it's beautiful out here but just a reminder that there are still slick conditions not all of the ice is this visible there's a lot of black ice out there too so whether you're walking or driving just make sure you're taking it slow in sandwich on a myler wbz news